Hey guys, welcome back. This video was supposed to be up yesterday, but as I went to upload it, I found the file was corrupted and because I'm a spaz, I forgot to back up the save file, so I'm having to re-record this today. As I said at the end of the last video, it was evident that the family of Mr. Vincent were trying to intimidate Mr. Osborne Brooks because he hadn't been back to his house. Well, it turns out I was right. Removal men snapped outside Hither Green OAP Hero's house after burglar family threats. Removal men have been spotted carting boxes out of the home of the OAP who killed a career criminal burglar during a botched house raid two weeks ago. Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, and his wife have been in hiding since the incident in Hither Green, South East London, as the family of dead burglar Henry Vincent have taken over the street and sworn revenge. The removal men suggest that Mr Osborne Brooks and wife Boreen do not intend to return to their beloved three-bedroom terraced house after earlier reports stated the same. A police flatbed lorry also arrived to pick up their car. At around 9am this morning, a team arrived and entered the property where Vincent, 37, was stabbed during a struggle with Mr. Osborne Brooks. Shortly after, a grey Vauxhall Astra, which had the front and rear number plates removed, was backed out of the garage. It was driven by a police officer onto a Metropolitan Police Truck car transporter. One neighbour who did not wish to be named said, We always hoped they would come back at some stage, but this looks rather final to me. It's all very sad. Mr. Osborne Brooks' wife, Maureen, 76, who suffers from severe arthritis, have been kept under police guard in a safe house since the attack. The couple's phones have also been switched off. Another friend who did not want to be identified had also said last week that the couple planned to sell the home. He said on Friday they were waiting for the dust to settle before they announced that publicly and put the house on the market. He said there was a fear of reprisals. It's the fact that they could come back and that his wife is disabled. They could terrorise him. It's not safe. He's got what happened that night on his conscience for the rest of his life now. He's never going to forget that he's killed someone. He's not a violent person. He's a really nice one of the mill guy. Previously, Vincent's traveller community family had been camped out on the street leaving flowers and tributes and insisted that Mr. Osborne Brooks should apologise, even though Vincent broke into his home armed with a screwdriver. The shrine led to disgruntled neighbours and vigilantes removing the flowers in a tit for tat war. Vincent's family have also threatened they may drive the funeral cortege down the Hever Green Street. I just want to say to the family of Mr. Vincent, I hope you're fucking happy with yourselves. You've drove an old man and his disabled wife out of their home because he was defending himself from a scumbag. If there's anyone I hate on this planet, it's scum like your family member who prey on old people, disabled people and children. Did he deserve to die? No. But that's always the risk you run when you break into someone's house, with the sole aim of taking their possessions. He bought it on himself. You need to accept that, move on and let these people have their lives back. If you don't, you're just as much of a scumbag as the dickweed that ended up dead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comments below. Please also consider becoming a patron, link is below. Until next time, goodbye.